Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a breakaway image transition with Divi's scroll effects. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to add a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So uh, you can name this page whatever you want, doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna call my page Breakaway Image Transition. So now that I have my page title, I'm gonna click here on Use Diffy Builder. So for this design, we're gonna build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on Start Building, and then I'm gonna add my column structure here. And we are going to go with four equal columns. So before we start designing, what we need to do is to go into our column structure here and um, make sure we make some uh, changes on our row settings. So I'm gonna come over here to this gear icon to go into my row settings, and then I'm gonna go into design. Next, I'm gonna come over here to sizing, and uh, this is where we want to make sure we activate use custom gutter width and drag this all the way to one. The gutter width is the space between the images, so we wanna make sure there's no spaces. Right, so uh, here we don't need to equalize column height, so let's just uh, disable that. And then for um, our gutter width, in fact, we spoke about the gutter width. Now here on the maximum width, we wanna make sure that this is set to 1080 pixels. Now let's adjust our padding by coming over here to spacing. And then we're going to uh, add our padding, which is going to be zero uh, at the top and zero at the bottom as well. Next, we're gonna head over here to the advanced tab and go to visibility. So here on the horizontal overflow, we're gonna set this to visible. And on the vertical overflow, we need to do the same and set this to visible and then save. Next, we're gonna come over here to our section settings and um, we're also going to work on our padding here. So I'm gonna click on spacing and we are going to set this to zero. And uh, because the value is going to be top and bottom, I'm just gonna add it here and activate the chain. All right, so now it's time to add our images. So I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna click here on this plus button to add my module. And my module here is going to be an image module. So I'm gonna search for my image module here and select it. Next, I'm gonna click here and then choose my image. Now I already have my images in the media library. And by the way, you can uh, download all these images in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below, whereby you can follow this step by step. There's also an extensive tutorial on how to slice these images in Photoshop, which means if you have your own image, you can go in Photoshop and uh, learn how to slice all these images and upload them onto your site. All right, so now that I have this all set, the next step now is to add my first image. So I'm gonna select it and click upload an image. So now I have my image in place. Next, we're gonna come over here to the advanced tab and go to scroll effects. So here on scroll effects, we uh, need to um, add a few effects and the effect we're gonna start off with is the fade. So I'm gonna come over here and choose fading in and out. Make sure you activate it. So here we're going to play around with our settings. So here on um, my viewport bottom, I'm gonna set this to 100 and then the ending opacity is going to be zero. Then I'm also going to set this to 20%. So I'm gonna drag this down to about 20%. And then I'm also gonna drag this viewport bottom here to 20% as well, like that. And then over here, we're gonna set this to about 50. Next, we're gonna go on to uh, scaling up and down activate it. So our values here are going to be 100%, 70 and 100. Right, so now we're going to split this into two. And our first value here is going to be 48 and 32. So I'm going to drag this down to about 32 and 48 for this one here, and then 60 for our viewport top, and then 20. Right, so the next step is to move on to rotating. And again, we need to enable rotating and uh, set this to zero, zero and minus 90. And then we're gonna set this middle part here to about 20%. And then the viewport top, we're gonna set this to 60. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. Let's save this. Okay, so you can see our image here. Right, so what we're gonna do next to save us a lot of time is to duplicate this and add it onto column two. So I'm gonna drag it over here to column two, and then we're gonna go into column two and make some changes in there. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click advanced, and then we're gonna come over here to scroll effects, 
And the only change we're going to do here is to rotating and we're going to set this to 90 degrees instead of minus 90. And then we're going to come back over here to the content and change our image. So here, I'm just going to click on this area here and replace the image with this one. So I'm going to click upload an image and then save. So now we have image one and image two. So we also need to have uh, image three in place. So let's copy and paste this to column number three. So I'm going to hit command C or control C if you're on a PC. And then over here, you just hit command V to paste. And now let's go into this and change our image by clicking here on this gear icon and clicking here on this area. So the image we're going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to select it and click upload an image. So now I'm going to save. Now we need to copy image number two into column four. So that's this one here, the second one. So again, we're going to use our shortcuts and it's command C if you're on Mac and it's control C if you're on a PC. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've hit command C and then I'm going to come all the way to the end here and hit command V. So now you can see our image has been pasted in. And then I'm also going to go into my settings here and change this image by coming over here and selecting my image. I'm going to hit upload an image and pretty much my images have been added. So now I'm going to save this. So we are going to continue on and add even more images. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to duplicate this and this is going to be image number five. So I'm going to click here on duplicate. And now you can see here our image is right below the top one. So let's go into our settings here and uh, make further adjustments to image number five. So here we're going to go into the advanced scroll effects. We're going to go to the fade. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set this to 40%. And then we're going to drag these down to 0%. So I'm going to start with this one here. And then drag the middle part all the way down to 0%. So next, we're going to come over here to the rotating. And we're just going to make sure that this is 90 degrees instead of minus 90. And then over here, we're going to set this to minus 40. And then drag this all the way to 0%. Okay, so now that I've added all my effects, next I'm going to come over here to content and we just need to change our image by coming over here and choosing our image. So the image is this one here. I'm going to click upload an image and then save. Right, so the next step now is to duplicate this image here and drag it on to column number six. So I'm just going to come over here and duplicate it like that and then just drag it into position. So next, we're going to go into our module settings, click on the advanced tab, scroll effects, and we're going to come over here to rotating. And uh, this is where we need to set this to minus 90. And we just want to make sure that this is set to 40, by the way. So now that we've adjusted our rotation, next we are going to come over here to content and change our image. So I'm going to click in this area here. And the image I need to add is this one right here. Upload an image. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm going to save. Next, we are going to uh, duplicate image number five, which is this one here, and drag it over to column number three. So in fact, I'll just copy and paste it. There we go. So I've just pasted it. And then we need to go into uh, the settings here by clicking this gear icon, clicking on the image. And the image we're going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Upload an image. So you can see here the images that I'm adding are actually completing the whole picture on this design. All right, so we just need to continue now and add our last effect. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to come over here and uh, copy and paste this is one more time. And this is now the last image. So I'm going to paste it in place. Then I'm going to go into my image settings here and complete this puzzle. So the last image is going to be this one right here. I'm going to click upload an image. There we go. So now we have this complete image here. So what we need to do for us to really see the scroll effects working, we, uh, we're going to add a blank section on the top and on the bottom. And to do that, all you have to do is to just click here on this plus button, add regular. Okay, so that's going to be our section. In fact, you know what? Um, I'm going to come over here to my layers so I can just duplicate this and add it into position. So there we go. 
And then I'm just going to drag this to the top so that our main design now is going to be in the middle. Now, when we do our scrolling, it's going to be easy for us to see this animation. All right, so all I have to do now is to publish and then give this a try and see if the breakaway is working. All right, so what I've do also done here is just added a, um, you know, some text here just to give this a, a brief description. So now when I scroll, you can see now the images are breaking away and they are also coming back into position like that. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.